guys, Adam Haney with Military Mortgage Bootcamp here to tell you about VA appraisals part one, Tidewater. One of the myths that gives sellers and agents pause about accepting a VA offer is the misconception that somehow VA appraisals are more difficult or stingy on value than other appraisals. The truth, however, is that VA offers more opportunities to rectify value than any other form of financing. The first thing you need to know about VA appraisals is that they have mandated turn time set by the state, and in California, that's seven business days. That's because the VA is fanatical about making sure nothing hinders the veteran's path to home ownership, and that includes untimely appraisals. The second thing you need to know about VA appraisals is that they're not handled by appraisal management companies. Instead, VA appraisals are ordered through the VA's approved panel of appraisers. And what this means is that the appraiser doesn't have to pay an appraisal management company fee. Therefore, even though that appraisal doesn't cost any more than an FHA or conventional appraisal, the appraiser is actually going to make more money on the VA appraisal and consequently be incentivized to deliver a quality product. That said, what happens when the appraised value comes in below purchase price? This is when the appraiser invokes Tidewater, which is an automatic mandatory VA procedure whereby the appraiser is given 48 hours to come up with two more comps to substantiate the purchase price. It's just another way that the VA gives the lender and the realtor a say in the valuation process. Again, the VA wants to see the veteran in the home so long as the value can be substantiated. There's no other form of financing that has built-in appraisal procedure to help get the value at purchase price, if at all possible. So that said, what happens when you get the two other comps and the value still doesn't come in at purchase price? We'll talk about that next time when we discuss reconsiderations of value. But for now, to make this concept of Tidewater a little more memorable for you, I reached out to one of my Navy SEAL friends. I said, hey Johnny, what's that little game you guys play down on the beach where your arms are all interlocked like you're off to see the wonderful Wizard of Oz? He said, surf torture? I said, yeah. You know when the tide water comes up over your head so you can't breathe and you have to wait till the wave goes out till you can take your next breath? Then another icy wave comes in giving you an ice cream headache and you're getting hypothermic and they have you do that into the morning, noon, and night. You know, just out there frolicking in the tide water. Now, this is not how the appraisal tide water initiative got its name. But here's the point. If our veterans can endure the most intense military training on the planet just so that they can put themselves in harm's way and risk getting killed or captured to protect you and me, the least we can do as our civil duties as real estate professionals is to educate ourselves about the truths about VA financing. And that's why I'm here. So please forward this information to anyone who will help. Contact me if you have any questions. And stay tuned for next week when we talk about reconsideration of value. I'm Adam Haney with Military Mortgage Bootcamp.